day and welcome to the replay. If you're coming in, please type hashtag live or hashtag replay, say hello. Let me know you are here. Let me just share this to my group. How's everybody doing today on this lovely Wednesday? It's very sunny here in North Carolina. Cold, finally, but sunny. One more share. So if you're coming in, just say hello. And I will be right there. I am just trying to figure out how to share it to my my page. Okay, I think I got it. So today I'm going to show you. Let me clear this notification. I hate when it does that. I can't see. All right, I'm going to show you um, the full blessings that we had done last month. I think it's backwards on the camera, but. Maybe I should flip that. Let me flip that. Excuse my arm. There. That should be better. So this is four fall blessings that we had done. I'm going to show you to remove this. All you have to do is use your water. Oh, you know, I don't have my, uh, I don't have my, uh, what you call it? Board eraser. So you're just going to spray with water. Spray that on your surface because we're going to be removing the fall blessings and doing this month's uh, Club Couture, which is Season's Greetings. Let me go grab my board eraser while this soaks. Be right back. Sorry about that. Two seconds. Sorry for the noise. My kids are watching TV in the other room because they're home from school. Uh, well, my one son is not in school, but my daughter is on asynchronous learning. Yay. You can take your, um, scraper. This is just a chalk couture scraper. You could probably use a credit card or something else that you have on hand. And you're then just going to scrape that paste off. See how easy that comes off? Now the shimmer paste will stick more than the other paste than the regular paste. It's thicker. That's okay, because it's going to come off. This is the Aiden board. This is one of our gallery boards. It's also magnetic. I'm just gonna take a paper towel and get all that up. I'm just going to give it another spray. And let me see if I can clear that menu. Uh, and I'm going to take my board eraser and I'm just going to go over the surface with my board eraser to get off any excess chalk or ghosting sometimes. Um, you can have ghosting on a surface. Sorry, I've got a bunch of stuff on my desk. It's in the way. I'm just gonna clear that. And I'm gonna let that dry. These are the board erasers. These come two to a pack. They're only a couple dollars. They're similar to a magic eraser. Um, but they don't have any of the chemicals that a magic eraser has, but these are what we use to clean our boards and get the chalk off our boards. Grab a paper towel. And if you are here, say hello. And I don't, I'm not seeing any comments come up, so maybe there's no comments yet, but there's let me mute that. Okay. So. Um, I'm just going to dry this now. 
with my little paper towel. I'm going to turn it. This is a lint-free paper towel, actually. I don't know. Is it lint-free? I thought this was my lint-free, but I see lint. I don't know. My husband got them from some, probably advanced auto or something like that. I'm just going to make sure my board's dry. Get a little dry. It's dry, it's back to normal, and it looks beautiful. See? All ready for the project to go on it. Let me just see if I can get that off. You know what? I do have a microfiber right here. Hello, my chocolate tour. Forgot all about it. Okay. All right, so this is the season's greetings um, transfer. This is the uh, club transfer that they offer to club members. It's $19.99 a month. I am just going to cut this. See these lines, these white lines? You just wanna cut on those white lines and cut your pieces apart. Those are my transfer trimmers that I just used to cut this apart. And this is how I'm going to set this up on my board. So we're gonna first put on the top, the top layer. And I'm going to fuzz it first because I'm putting it on this surface. I know some people don't fuzz on these surfaces, but I figure why not? I don't think it's gonna hurt. So I'm actually gonna just number number this one and I'm gonna put a one on my transfer. And I forgot to write on the back. You should write on the back so you know which side is the back because one side is glossy and one side is matte. And if you put your transfer right on this side, you'll ruin your transfer. So I'm just taking, let me show you this. I'm just taking my transfer, putting it on the terry cloth side of the fuzzing cloth and you can use you know a bathroom hand towel your shirt anything just to get some fuzz the um, transfers are very sticky so you just want to give them a good fuzz and it's they're easier to place on your surface if they're fuzzed and I got this one a little curled down which is fine and I'm just going to take this and I'm going to slide this try to keep it even where I want it and I think I'm gonna put it pretty much right at the top I've not done this one before so I'm assuming that's where the best placement is I'm gonna give I'm not gonna put it all the way down I'm just gonna rub down what I need to I just go over the areas that need to be rubbed and I'm gonna do the berries if I can in the red and then all this other in green now, if you've watched me before, you know that I can be a little messy. So things don't always come out so perfect, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna put the paste on, try to get as close as I can without getting it in those little berry sections. And paste this on. I'm just gonna apply it thick for now, doesn't matter because it'll come off. Just trying to not hit the berry. Now this is Meadow. This is, um, this is our um, chalk paste. It is non-toxic. There are other brands out there. I know I've heard people talk about other brands. However, our chalk paste has no smell and again is non-toxic. So I'm not sure what those other brands have. So I just Put it on and now I'm squeegeeing off. And I'm gonna put all that paste that's still there. You can see how much is there. I'm gonna put that right back in the jar. Because that's all reusable. I don't want to lose it. Okay, put that back in the jar. I'm gonna set this here. And for the berries, 
I'm going to use, oh, this one's dirty. Let me use my detail tool. This is a multi-tool, but I, I guess I didn't clean the end very well last time I used it. <laughs> I've been making a lot of projects over the last week. I have a whole table full I could show you when we're done. Um, I'm going to take some candy apple. And I'm going to do my berries and candy apple. Uh, the candy apple jars, I know, are sold out. So if you do get into the club and join the club, um, they will come with the paste packet. So you'll get a whole packet of these colors. You will not need to buy a jar of paste. And that's what's nice about club is that you can join and just get a project a month. And you don't have to put a huge investment out. It's only... Um, $19.99 a month which includes your shipping it's only a three month commitment so if you want to do it for three months and stop you can and now that this is done I'm gonna pull up my transfer and I'm gonna pull it from the center I'm using the side but I'm gonna pull it from the center and pull up and then I'm gonna put this for now because my sink is in the other room I'm just going to put this right back on here for now until I can wash it, which I'll put that off to the side and I will wash it later. So that's the first one. And we're going to let that dry. Let me move some of this stuff. I'm sorry. Move this out of the way. If you are interested or just want to get more details about club, you can just type club in the comments and I will get you that information. And the reason that I'm drying this is because I have another um, transfer that's going to get very close to this one and I want to make sure that this is dry. And the other thing that's very important is when you are drying to make sure that your surface comes back to room temperature because you don't want to put your transfer down because I'm going to put the deer up here. This is still pretty warm and this is cool so I want to give this a chance to cool off and that's the best way so you don't ruin your transfer. So I am going to now fuzz, while that's cooling, I'm gonna fuzz my deer. Deer are very popular. I'm not being able to grab it, see? My hands are very dry from the change in the weather. So I'm just gonna use my detail tool. See, I just grabbed the end of it with my detail tool pick up that end and I didn't write back again see back and we'll put deer this is a very fat marker I got it from the Dollar Tree cheaper than uh, getting a sharpie although I love the sharpies they are the best but when I'm just writing on the back of a transfer, that's fine. I don't really need expensive marker. Okay, this one, I'm ready to put this one down. This is now cooled, it's fine. I'm going to place this back down on my picture. I'm just using a picture as a guide. So I wanna do it how Chalk Couture did it because that's how you guys would get, get it in your kit. Mm. We're going to just guesstimate. That looks about right. Just want to make sure I don't have any bubbles. So I was trying to push up from the middle and then out from the middle to the sides. And again, I'm only going to really press down where I want the coverage. I'm going to grab another squeegee and I'm going to use the black velvet paste to do the deer. Wait, black velvet on black? That's not going to work. I just did it. You know what? They're all doing it on white surfaces and I just realized that was silly, but it's okay, you know what? I'll let it dry and we can go over it with something else. That was so silly, Dion. All right, don't put black on black because you're not gonna really see it. <laughs> I do see it though. And you know what? It's okay. Make mistakes and uh, you always fix it. And that's what's nice about Chocolate Tour and the products is that 
I'm going to be able to go right over the top of this with another color. I don't even have to take that off. I can, but I don't even have to take it off. I'm just going to let it cool. And then I'm going to do Seasons Greetings. It's going to be about here, but let me do the green first. So make sure I leave enough room to center that. All right, so we're going to do some more greenery. While that's cooling, I'm going to, oh, again, I was forgetting. Back, I'm gonna number this two, put a two on the front. That's why you always know where your backer goes. I'm gonna fuzz this up. Now these are the new transfers that um, they put out with the, the most recent holiday suite and they're made of a more environmentally friendly apparently um, material it's still a vinyl and it's still a silk screen but it's just different different uh, material there aren't like harsh chemicals in the vinyl apparently that is how they used to be it's from what I'm told I don't know I'm not a scientist I just use them <laughs> and I have fun using them because I really, really enjoy it. But you'll know you have a new transfer because there's a W on the bottom. And I'll show you that after we do this. So I'm gonna apply the green again. Try not to hit the berries. This board is also available as part of a kickstart when you join um, the club. This is offered. It's an amazing board to have, and it's very high quality. It comes with a whole slew of tools and stuff in that little kit. It's called a kickstart kit. If you don't want to join the club, I can still offer you that discounted price if you just reach out to me. I can get that ordered for you. And then you have a board and you have tools, board eraser, all things like that. I have a picture of it around here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. And you can change out your project every month just with this one board. And that's what I use the board for. This board came in my kit. This was part of our business in a box. And um, I use this board to feature the monthly Club Couture. I'm having a lot of fun with Chalk Couture, I have to say. I've been doing a lot of projects and it's just relaxing, fun. I'm not really just sitting at my desk when I am crafting because I get up and down and up and down and up and down to the sink, you know, because I want to wash my transfers. So again, I'm going to pull this transfer from the center, and in this case the side, but from the center so it has an even pull and I'm not stretching out my transfer. And I'm gonna put that back on the backer for right now until I can get to a sink. I don't wanna be up and down with you guys live. And I wanted to show you at the bottom, oh, it's kind of covered in green now, but there is a W. I don't know if you can see right underneath my finger now. There's a W in the code. There's this whole code on the on here, and that's where you know that W. I'm assuming it kind of means like water soluble because you're not supposed to um, leave the transfer. Now I'm getting stuff all over me as usual. You're not supposed to soak your transfer in water, and that's why I'm not placing them in water. This stupid notification that will not go away. I'm sorry. It's driving me nuts. Um, you're not supposed to soak them in water because it could deteriorate, deteriorate the stickiness of the back. Now, I'm using a baby wipe, but for my hands only, you do not want to use a baby wipe on your transfers. You can put, you know, wipe down tools and stuff with a baby wipe in your hands but don't don't do that on um on ah, i can't 
can't talk. I never can talk when I go live. I get nervous. Oh, I'm going to dry this again. Let this cool down while I'm fuzzing. And I'll just fuzz off to the side here because of my, and again, I did it right on the back. I am such a goofball. Back, those right seasons. I can't, this marker is really bad. It's so thick, I can't even write. So I'm just gonna fuzz up over here. They say with the new transfers, you have to fuzz, 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 and you you really do. I feel like sometimes I'm fuzzing and fuzzing and fuzzing, and it's still so sticky. As you can see, it's sticky. It sticks to my finger. All right, now I'm going to place this. Just try to center it in between the deer and the, ho and the holly. Like this. And I'm just gonna again press down where I want it to be a good seal because we don't want any bubbles. And I'm gonna take my squeegee and apply the candy apple. Now when you get the chalk packs with the kit, with the club, it really comes with plenty of paste in that pack. You can do multiple projects with a pack, a single packet of chalk paste. Now I'm just gonna go over this gently and make sure I don't have any harsh lines because I am heavy handed. I'm just wiping this off on my jar and we're going to remove. Perfect. And I'm gonna place this off to the side again until I can remove, or sorry, wash my transfers. So I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna go back to this deal, but I am going to have to wash that transfer. I don't wanna put the black on top of it. So while this is, drying and whatnot. I'm gonna scooch this over to the side and I'm gonna get that deer. And I'm gonna spray my desk because I'm just gonna do it right on my desk. Put that down in the water. Get that off of there. Make sure my backer is clean. And I'm gonna get a Clorox wipe. You can, like I said, don't use a baby wipe on your transfer. I am just going to wet this with water and I'm going to use this wipe to get most of this paste off. Now, this will come off more with the board eraser later when I take it to the sink, but for now, I just want to get some of this off. You always wanna wipe the front and the back of your transfer because ink will, not ink, paste. In this case, because we're using paste, we'll go through to the back. And I'm just gonna wipe that up. What did I do? Oh, put them down. I'm just gonna get another clean one because that one had a lot of paste on it. I had to buy these, some of these at the dollar store because we still can't find our uh, Lysol wipes or Clorox wipes anywhere. I found some, luckily, believe it or not, at the dollar store in packs. I don't care. I bought them. I bought multiple packs. I think I bought 15 packs of them that day. I bought so many just because I was running so low. I had one big, huge container because I really don't use wipes that much around the house. I use actual cleaner, so um, I only had one tub the whole 
time we're on lockdown and whatnot. All right, that's good enough. I'm gonna now dry it. Just dry this up. I am going to, on my microfiber side is what I'm going to dry with. I'm just gonna fold that over and dry. Put the terry cloth side, this side is for fuzzing, this side is for drying. You can see, I got all that sticky. I mean, it's really sticky all back again. Just wanna make sure that my screen is dry and now I'm gonna fuzz it and we're gonna go right on top of the black deer that silly me put on here can you see him uh, hold it up. yeah you can kind of see him a little bit in there <laughs> so maybe I'll use silver because silver should pop on here and I have silver, I have frost. I don't know what color, silver or gold. I think I'll use silver. Anybody have any ideas? Oops, whoops. Okay, so now I am going to try to line him up as best as I can. I'm thinking I might need more light. I can't even see him. He's so dark. I think I got it. Sorry for my head. I think I got it. <laughs> I think I got it. I'm just gonna rub over there and let's see. I have silver. I have frost. Frost looks excellent on black, but there's black paste, so I'm gonna activate that paste. I've gotta be quick. Anybody wanna choose a color? Gold, silver, or frost? I have gold, silver, or frost, which is a white shimmer. These are all shimmer pastes. Okay, I'll go with frost. Because that's really funny. One of my favorites. I'm gonna put this on thick at first. And I'm gonna take it off gently. I don't want any lines. Okay, I'm gonna lift it up. I think it needs more. We're gonna go back over it. Cause that chalk, that black chalk under there. Let me try to push it through the screen. And wipe that off. It's taking my black. It's coming right off. Okay. The black's coming right off with it. What a shame, see? But that's okay. I am going to have to take it off. And so I don't waste your eyes time. I think I'll just do this uh, off live. Although it is coming off fairly. It is coming off easily enough. I just, I'm afraid I'm making a huge mistake and you guys are watching but then again that's how I guess you're gonna learn how to not do what I just did you know what I mean the black was very dry so I don't even know I don't even know what I'm looking for another like let 
Let's see. I just I really don't want to hit anything. Okay. I'll just lightly take this. Make sure I got off any chalk paste with my board eraser. Okay. This is going to have to dry a minute. I'm going to go wash this, so I'll be right back. Ow. Be right back, guys. Okay, did a quick wash. My transfer, now let me just dry it. Using my microfiber side again. i dry it. Dry my hands. Dry it again. that down to fuzz. Let's get the board dry. Okay. That's how easy it is to fix a mistake. Wipe it off. Do it again. I guess I should have thought in my head. I didn't have a white background like the one I was looking at. Okay, before I take that off, I'm gonna wipe this. Get that white off. still have something on here that's why the board eraser is so amazing though because it would take that right off oh I just hit my berry can't get the berry wet if you put water on this obviously like I showed you in the beginning it reactivates your paste you don't want to reactivate your paste There it is, it's gone now. I was seeing a little bit of a white haze. All right, I'm just gonna fuzz this little deer up. We're gonna do them in frost. Okay, let's put that deer back down. Line it up. I'm pressing him in, and then I'm going to take my squeegee, dip it in the chalk paste, and yes, I clumped it on. I want to make sure it gets on there good. Take it off, put it back in. And 
looks like there's a bubble. It does. It looks like there's a bubble right in the middle of the deer now. No big deal. Much better. I'm going to put him back on his backer. So I'll take it everything to wash. Now, uh, shimmer paste does take longer to dry. So you just don't want to touch that. is all set. So here we have Seasons Greetings and this is again the November Club Couture Transfer. If you're interested in more details about club just type club in the comments and I'll send you over that information for the club transfer. These transfers are exclusive to club members only and designers and um, designers get them for showing them if you are interested in becoming a designer you can be a hobbyist or you could try to do it as a business no problem either way i will get you the information if you want to type join in the comments i can send you information about joining my team and i'd love to have you it's fun i have a lot of fun uh, i'm going to show you real quick some of the other things so i'm going to disconnect the camera which is going to get a little wiggly I am going to take you over here. Wait, I need my glasses, see? I am blind as a bat. Thank you, age. I'm just gonna show you real quick some of the stuff I've been working on. Do I have to flip the camera again? Oh, maybe I have to do a flip. Everything looks um backwards. But I've been working on a lot of things. There. I did it. I have all these cute ornaments. You guys saw when I did that. I did the etching. Oops. On the glass here. My little twinkle lights. I have a sleigh. Isn't that cute? And a double-sided box frame. And then I also have a double-sided pumpkin, which you guys saw a long time ago. Pumpkin fall. And I changed that because that used to be harvest and I made it black instead. And then we also have another double-sided. This is the board and base. And if you flip it over, now it's no bad days. Board and base. It's on an uneven table. That's why it's sliding around. So, all right. How do I flip my camera back now? Don't know. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh no, I don't know what I'm doing and now I've lost all control. There we go, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and um, if you have want any information, let me know. I'm here, I, have, I can answer your questions. This is what we did today again. I'll hold it up and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.